Hi all, this is Architect Hari from Neram Classes. This video is sponsored by Prime Nest School of Architecture, which is one among the top architecture college in Trichy. Students who are looking for admission for architecture in 2022 can definitely enroll for the undergraduate program by Prime Nest School of Architecture. NATA 2022 brochure has been released. So today in this video, I am going to explain what are the important things that are mentioned in the brochure. The full form of NATA exam is National Aptitude Test for Architecture. This is an entrance examination conducted for students who are completed 12th or diploma who wants to enroll for architecture college. They need to write this examination in India and get qualified if you want to study architecture in any architecture colleges in India. So this is applicable for all state government colleges whereas for central government colleges like uh, NITs, IITs, JE paper 2 exam has to be given. So this year in 2022 NATA exam is conducted in three attempts. First attempt is on June 24th and the second attempt is on July 3rd and the third attempt is on July 24th. In each attempt the exam may be conducted in either one session or two session based on the number of applications received on the particular city. So the totally the exam will be conducted for 200 marks and you will be getting 125 questions for that. So the next section is outline of the aptitude test. So the syllabus of the entire exam is not clearly revealed in the brochure but it is mentioned that outline of aptitude test because as you know the NATA is the aptitude test. In this chapter they have given a list of topics from which you can get the questions and also what all uh, criteria will be evaluated from the students. So that is shown in the screen. Also, we are making a separate video for this particular topic. You can find the video in the description of this video. So the next section is eligibility criteria for the examination. School students who have completed 10th and 12th with the physics, chemistry and maths, they are eligible for this exam. Uh, one more thing is you have to score at least 50% of mark in the overall uh, examination also as a aggregate mark individually in physics max and uh, chemistry also it should be more than 50 percentage so this is the eligibility criteria and for the diploma candidates who are not having physics chemistry that's okay but for the diploma candidates there should be max in the syllabus it may be of any major like electrical or civil but you should have max in your syllabus so also for you also uh, the overall mark has to be more than 50 percentage and also in the mathematics part you should be uh, having a score of more than 50 percentage so in case if you have any clarifications that are not mentioned in the brochure council of architecture has given a help desk email address and phone number so that will be visible on your screen so you can contact them directly if you have any doubts to be clarified so the next session is how to apply for this examination so for applying for this exam, you don't have to go to any computer center or spend money for that. You can do it yourself in your home using your mobile phone or if you have a computer, you can do it yourself. So we have made a demo video on how to apply in computer as well as in the mobile phone. The link for that video is attached there in the description. Make use of it and apply by yourself. So the next comes application fees for this examination. So this is given as a tabular column. So I'll try to explain it as clear as possible. Uh, for the OBC candidates who are going to apply for only one attempt of NATA, the application fee is 2000 rupees. Whereas if you are OBC candidate and applying for two examination, uh, this is will be this will be 4000 rupees. Whereas if you want to apply for all the three examination, the fees will be 600 rupees lesser than 6000. That is 5400. So all this is only for OBC candidate, male candidates. Whereas if you take the female candidates of OBC and also male and female candidates of other cash category like SCST, the application fees is 500 rupees lesser. That is for the single examination, it will be like 1500 and for both the examination, it will be 3000. So and for all together for the three examination, the fees is 4050 rupees so the next section is issue of admit card 
So you will be receiving the admit card for this exam through NATA online portal one week prior the exam date for all the three examinations. You will get to know the exam center only when you receive your admit card. Basically during the application, you will be mentioning four centers which you have as a preference. So most of the time the first center will be given as an exam center but that is not uh, like 100%. So you will get to know where you are going to write the exam only when you receive your admit card. So the result for the NATA exam will be released one week after the exam date for all the three dates. Whereas after getting the result, if you are not satisfied with your result and want to uh, have your paper back to evaluate yourself, you can do it. For that, you need to fill another application form and the fee for the evaluation process is rupees 3000 so that will be open after the declaration of result so the next section is scorecard format so this is the important uh, chapter of this brochure this is where the major changes has happened in 2022 so last year for nata exam it, students were provided with only two attempts and the best of two marks will be taken as the final marks whereas this year they have given a three attempts of nata in which Students who are going to write two attempts of NATA, best of two will be considered. Whereas the students who are going to write three attempts of NATA, uh, any two attempts of NATA will be taken. That is your preference. You can do, take any two among the three and the average of the two exams will be taken for the students who are going to give all the three exams. Whereas for the two students, it's same. Best of two will be taken into consideration. So this is the major change. So the next heading is validity of scorecard. As like every year, the NATA score will be valid only for the current year. That is, if you are writing for 2022, it is valid only for up to 2023, not after 2023. Uh, so if you are done with your examination and uh, the data of your examinations will be stored with the Council of Architecture, that is your scorecard, your application, everything. So these details you can get from the NATA portal only within 90 days. After 90 days, those details will not be provided. So you have to take a printout or save it as a PDF somewhere. After 90 days, you cannot get anything from the Council of Architecture. So the next thing is procedure of conducting the examination. So this exam will be conducted in a center, uh, in a computer lab since it's an online exam. So you have to go to the examination on time. So if you are late for the exam, you will not be allowed for the exam. While going for the exam center, the list of things you need to take with you is your admit card printout as well as one of the ID proof that is provided by the government. Your passport, other card, driving license, voter ID, anything. During the exam, if any cheating happens, you will be debarred from writing the examination. As like any other examination, no electronic devices were allowed inside the examination hall. So this exam will be conducted for three hours and you will not be allowed outside the exam center within these three hours. During the examination, if you want a rough sheet, the center will be providing you a rough paper. So you don't have to worry about that. You are free to get a rough paper from the examiner. So the list of tentative exam centers in India. So this is a very long list and it is different for each state in India. So you can find a web application in neeramclasses.com where you can get to know exam centers that are available in your particular state. So the link for that web application is also attached in the video description. So we have made a separate video on how to apply for this NATA examination. You can make use of the video and apply for yourself using your mobile phone. The link for that video is also attached in the video description. So if you need our assistance, you just have to fill this Google up, uh, form which is there in the video description. We will help you complete the application form. So in Mayrim classes, we are conducting online as well as offline NATA crash course for the upcoming three items of NATA. Students who want to score very good score and get into top architecture colleges in your state, you can get enrolled for this uh, course. It will be very useful and it's a premium course. Uh, so for joining the class, application form is also there in the video description. I hope this video might have helped you understood the NATA 22 exam clearly. So if you find this video useful, do like and subscribe us for all the future video contents regarding this entrance exam. So signing off, architect Hari from miramclasses.com.